Okay. Back. Um. I'm gonna have to get off in a bit though, because I'm going to need to make some pie. Pecan pie. So, I do believe what we were checking out last was. Um. Figuring out a way for the clam to register that it has actually landed uh, based on having a look at the crab. So here's a crab. Come on, crab. Mr. Crab. So I have a crab collision trigger handler. Let's have a look at that. Do do. So, in this um, script, this is the key. On trigger stay, uh, taking in collider other, and it says if um, the active state name is or contains wait for ground, and the other contains a tag that says ground. Uh, let's just say that we have landed. Otherwise, um, the collision trigger handler has stuff uh, like this, um, where I check and see, let's see, oh, that's a lot of checking. Um, but what do we do for each game object, um, and get components, playmaker, let's see, <clears throat> da, 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 take damage, send event projectile. Okay, so this is for if the, the crab is thrown. Um, I need... I basically set its uh, tag to projectile. Or I check and see if the tag is projectile. And if it is projectile, then I do some stuff. So basically, I need a crab or a clam collision trigger handler. Easy enough. Which uh, tells me once again, it's one of those things I probably could make more generic and instead of having all these different coded solutions um, but let's go ahead for now um, <clears throat> and create one what do I want to create create c-sharp script uh, crab new they want that to be clam clam collision trigger handler Collision trigger handler. And I'll put that over here. Uh oh, Resharper is not complaining. We all know what that means. Bad things. I need to late, wait and let this uh, finish. Uh oh. And other bad things. Other bad things. I need to update my my dashboard, or do I? Let's see. Um, yeah, I guess this will be part 16. Makes sense. That's fine. Okay. Open this up. See if reshopper. Um, yeah, okay. Everything should be saved. Reload all. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Clam collision trigger handler. Yay! Reshopper is complaining. Thank you. Okay. Movement FSM. I'm just gonna go ahead and. You know, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Whoa! Yikes. I apparently... Yes, that was bad. There we go. <clears throat> ah! Might as well put this to this as well, put that in the namespace. And let's see, all of this stuff should be indented. There we are. 
Alright, so let's get some space. I'm gonna see what's going on here. Alright, on trigger, enter. We'll get rid of that. On trigger, stay. Uh, let's see, I checked not transform.root.gameObject is equal to game object. Okay. Should be fine. Landing if it contains weight for ground. Uh, enemy jumpable. Probably not. Probably not enemy jumpable. Probably just. Ooh, we aren't even tagged enemy at the moment. Um, but let's see. Prick is just enemy. And let's go to a crab. Come on. Let me click. Thank you. Crab. Crab is enemy on layer enemy. <clears throat> so, that might go ahead and help us a little bit to make this enemy. And on layer enemy. Uh, this object only. Alright, and you know, one of the great things about going through and implementing stuff like this um, is that it lets me sort of review the old code. <clears throat> um, because things like enemy jumpable, that is no longer a valid tag. It still exists, but it's pretty much, uh, and it will still work, but I eventually want to get rid of it. So let's see. Projectile, tick damage, item, player, projectile, wait for ground, ground, blah 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 blah. Alright, all that all that should, should be good. And all I should need to do is attach that to my clam. So giant clam. I forgot what I just named it. Clam Collision Trigger Handler. I should make it Giant Clam. So it's in the same spot and, you know, fix some of the naming. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Giant Clam save that and just go ahead and kill it. Now, find clam because I don't want it to be named this way. Okay. You let that finish loading. And then drag this over why are you still loading? Come on. There we go. Okay, giant clam. Collision trigger handler. <coughs> Movement FSM. Alright. That tells me I need to go... Well, wait a minute. Ah, uh, yes. Now I know why. Um, giant clam setup. So I need to get a reference to the collision trigger handler. Assign the movement FSM. And a hit particle. So while I open the giant clam uh, setup, I might as well also have a look at opening the um, the crab. All right, giant clam setup. Put it over here. So crab. Let's go open crab setup as well. So, find collision, trigger handler, and go find the usages, usages, and that's what I'm looking for, is basically not using an instance because PJ setup is not, yep, should be fine, just grab that, copy it, and set up. 
references to script. Um, so under here, I'll just go lower on the scripts and put this in here. So I need a reference. Make this a private uh, giant clam collision trigger handler is assigned or is named uh, script. Oops, yeah, I don't need to be doing assignment here. I just need to put this name script giant clam trigger handler collision trigger handler, and now I need to get get it probably with the git components all in here um, is assigned a git component uh, giant clam collision trigger handler <coughs> and just paste this in here uh, yeah giant clam ooh why do I use a git component on it here if I already Oh, it's because I don't already... I get the component down there, and then... Yeah, so I set it up a little bit differently. Oh, uh, that's fine. I don't need this or that. And save it. And since I named everything the same, um, it should work. So what now should happen is I should be able to hit the clam with something like the crab... Uh, the crab's arm, a club basically, knock it off the ground, um, and then when it lands on the ground, it should continue attacking. So let's check. Uh, Ward 1, tile screen. Yes. Okay, so he's coming after me. Up, oh, he's going after the item. Ate it. The animations are a little off, but that's fine. Alright, so now if I hit you... Yep. He still keeps coming after me. Nice. Bah. I can't grab him, though, so... Ah, something's wrong with that. And he killed me. But yeah, so in general, he, you know, there are, there are some issues with like the animation timing um, and stuff that I can tweak. But in general, and it's also running around a bit slow. But in general, it's working. You know, I don't think it's gonna let me do a jump, uh, a downward attack on it though. It'll just keep killing me. So I'll need to uh, need to have a look at that. Oh, I didn't want to eat that. I wanted to throw it at him. <laughs> wrong, wrong button. I'm gonna throw it at him and hopefully I can hit the right button this time. Boom! Up, oh, disappeared. He's gone. All right. So and it's you know it's functioning in general. There are little things to tweak, uh, just like there are, or will always be, pretty much, little things to tweak. Um, but I think that this might be the last uh, crab or clam uh, video. Because it's basically working. Just need to, to tweak some stuff. So from now on, I think I'll just be stream streaming random game dev of whatever I happen to be working on at the time. Um, yeah. Let's see. What was this null reference I got? Giant clam jump methods. Unset air pocket. Object reference is not set to an instance of an object. Okay, let's have a look. Movement FSM within the jump methods. So let's go have a look. Do I have a giant clam jump methods? 
Um, hmm. Let me go see up here. I'm assuming I don't. That's why I have the the uh, the error. <clears throat> Giant clam jump methods. Sign. Oop. Don't assign it. Script. Giant clam jump methods. And there we go. Is assigned a get component. Giant clam jump methods. All right, jump, go down here, and we will add the movement FSM as assigned the movement FSM that I have. All right, does jump methods need anything else? Let's see, movement FSM, no, that's all it needed. Which is interesting, because jump methods should not have been called unless it was going to try and jump, Oh wait, no, never mind. Because of the air pocket. So jumping in the game um, happens differently depending on whether you are in the water or in the air. Should be able to illustrate that quite simply uh, by going into the first level. Um, basically, you can hover when you're in the water, and you cannot hover when you're in you know, not in the water. And that also affects power-ups, like the, the different types of wings. Um, so, like, the, the fish wings will allow you to hover in... Um, well, when you're in the air. And when you're in the water, it'll give you infinite hover until it runs out. Oh, I'm getting hit. The clam is hitting me. Ha ha ha. All right, so something's definitely wrong with the with the uh, the logic as far as the the AI placement. Let's see, where are you, giant clam holder? So I know what's going on is definitely going to be in movement. It's going to be saying attack finished. Yeah. And it is going and hitting me with the lick punch. So what are we checking? My position in the target and the distance is equal or less than deal damage if it's greater than finished. So I assume that the my position and target positions. Let's see my position. I guess technically... Do I never get the position? My position, use owner, uh, you know, get the position, gets the position. Okay. And where's the target position? Target position is also zero. So that's why it's attacking me. It's because it thinks we are both at zero on the world origin, and it's attacking me. Um, <clears throat> so, clam, um, my position, and target position, both vector three dot zero y. Why is it vector 3.0? Probably one of the easiest ways to try and figure that out is to go look at the crab. And to see where... Actually, that, that seems kind of weird. Let me... Let me just go look at this again. Take damage, movement... Alright. So here, I get the position. I get my position. Use owner, my position, world space. And then I get the target position. And world space. I compare positions. 
non-item. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Target. Attacks above while grounded. I don't need to have that in there. Let me go... Roll to one level one. So I've still just got some residual junk in here from the crab, which I was planning on removing on my own, you know, at random at some point in time. Um, so this is not used. I even wish I could... Yeah, I'm going to. I'm just going to do this, do a, remove this above attack. You know, I'm just going, I'm just going to get rid of it. I can always copy and paste and bring it back in. Which means I'm going to get rid of this because that's for the above attack. Don't want that to happen. Goodbye. Alright. Attacks above while grounded. I do not want to test that. And I do not want to set this. Um, let's see. Chance check two. I guess I don't need you because you're not in here. Has item L. Uh, has item large, swingable, item R. So I'm just removing, um, you know, junk from the FSM that's left over from the crab from copying and pasting stuff. Because the clam is not going to hold items, and that's you know, or drop arm items. And that's pretty much what most of this is related to. Swing attack distance. Uh, I can leave. Can go with that. Throw a swingable item. It's never going to have a swingable item. Agent stopping distance. Um, that should be deprecated in both the clam and the crab. So I'm going to just check Mr. Crab here. Agent stopping distance is being used for the a the item pickup. So, let's see. Where do I check that distance? Uh, so I guess I'm being blind now. It says it's in here. There it is. Set the float. So that's all I'm doing is setting the agent stopping distance. Alright, so the agent stopping distance is something that should only be left over from... So like if I, It should be left over from when I was using um, the default Unity agent uh, stuff for AI, which was a long time ago. So that looks like it's just more cruft. So like if I look at this set and reach distance auto and I say large and I have a look at the um is that gonna be um in here? Easiest to copy that and then do Is that gonna be in crab radar? Okay, it's in crab radar. So then I set the rich AI crab and reach distance to seven. So it's a completely different mechanism. Which tells me that this does not need to be here. Okay, so Mr. Crab, you're getting worked on. Let's see. And you know, to make things easier, agent stopping distance, goodbye. Now it should complain. Nope, didn't complain, it just made it harder by getting rid of it. And it's just set a float value to 2. Okay, set float value to 2, remove action. Cool. So you apply. Which now I need to go to the blue crab, because it's a variant of the crab. And do the same thing. Get rid of this agent stopping distance. Okay, and you see there are there's other stuff in here that um, looks like it might not be needed. Um, air pocket, angle to target. 
Let's see. Air pocket angle of target. Uh, I can leave leave that stuff alone a little bit right now because I don't want to get too far off task. I'm just going to apply that. And go over here. Alright, movement. Agent stopping distance. Goodbye. Okay. Beside attack. Should get my position. Use owner, my position X, Y, and Z in world space. Then get the target X, Y, and Z in world space. Compare X. Uh, if it's less than finished, if it's greater than finished. Okay. Finished, 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 finished. That's odd. More leftovers. Okay, let's have a look here. Beside attack. Uh, says the same sort of thing. Tolerance of one. So if it's less than or greater than that tolerance, um, kick out and go to finished. Ah. So that basically means it's in front of you, so it's within a pinch tolerance, which on my clam means it's in it's within a lick tolerance. Alright, now I compare the position Z with the tolerance of 2. Less than or greater than 2. So yeah, X, Z, Finished. And then float compare here beside attack. So this has to do with if my Y position. And then we go into the beside attack. And do the beside attack, but there is still a distance check. I still finish a distance check and deal the damage or kick out to finished. So what is odd to me um, yes I think I should save this. What's odd to me is that the clam doesn't seem to be updating its position. So let me go jump in here and check stuff. Take the bait! Alright. Alright, so the clam right now should be telling me um, its position relative to mine in movement. And let's see. Current position X is zero. Why do you think it is zero? Alright. My position, zero. Zero, zero. It hasn't run an attack yet. That, that would be why it hasn't gotten the data. Boom. Hit me. Alright. So going into hunt, Alright, so we should now have variables filled in. There we go, my position. Alright, my position Z. Target position. What is target? Deal damage. So why did it, why did it not get my target position? Deal damage and all right. So this is deal damage, and this is deal damage three. I have deal damage test and deal damage test three. So here we are. Position one, 
get distance PJ uses my get my position uses my position and target position to get the distance to the target. So the distance to the target is zero, which is why it was hitting me. That's why it was still hitting me. Because it always thinks the distance to target is zero. Because get distance PJ is not working. And I think it's not and it's actually probably not that that's not working. My position is zero and target position is zero. Target's primary holder. Ah, yeah, let me see. Because I never get them, do I? Wait. I compare my position with the target. My position X, target position X. Do I ever get simply my position? I do not believe I do. There's the problem. All right. Just a simple matter of not actually assigning any data for it to work with. So go to the Playmaker stuff in here. And where do I normally get that in here? Um, do, 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 do. Hesitation. And here. Do an item check. And then something like here. Where are we getting my position? Alright. Set target position. Target game object. Target position. Lead time. That's fine. Um, I'm attack. Ah, there we are. So when I end beside attack, uh, which is the one I kept, I got rid of the non-item attack, which gets position, my position, and feeds in X and Y. My position, X and Y. Whereas this one gets position and says my position X, Y, Z in world. So I just need to use uh, get position to get uh, my position and the target position. So it looks like I have some redundancy going on. So this is getting the position, use owner, my position, and I'm only getting X and Y. So I'm only using X and Y there. That's fine. Vector, my position, position target. Target position, X and Y. So there's the issue. Ooh. My position Z. Why am I doing that? That should be target position Z. Okay. So that target position Z. And this is on that crab, which means it's probably wrong on this crab. Um, mm -hmm. Unless I did that on purpose. Float compare. That looks wrong. Target position Z. X, Z. Okay. My position, target position, my position, target position. Oh, that's interesting. I may have just found uh, the source of a bug without having realized that there was a bug. Let's see. Go down here. Yep, same thing. So if it's equal to it, do nothing. So I, I'm not sure if I did this on purpose or if it's a bug. 
If I did it on purpose... If I did it on purpose, I could just turn it off, because it's meaningless. Comparing my position to itself... So I have to assume that I selected the wrong position here. My target, my target. Okay. I have to assume that that is correct. And let's go grab this now so we can finally come in here and fix this problem. Which is simply that I'm not storing the position in this vector for my position or the target position. There. Now that that is getting data, it should be not attacking me from across the level anymore. You do want it. So you, we tried he tried to go for it, but couldn't have it. Okay. Lick. Okay. And as you see, I am now no longer being attacked from across the level. Where is Mr. Clam? Alright, so let's have a look at the rich AI. Max speed. So your max speed is getting adjusted. Your acceleration, your slowdown time. I'm curious as to why it might be... Uh, why it's moving kind of slowly though. But let me go ahead and go into into here and see in the movement. Make sure that I am correct and that my position, yes, does have a value, and target position does, yes, have a value. <laughs> so now the curiosity is why does it move slowly? I hope that's not because the um, the character is rotated backwards or something. So like the the crab here, you know, he has no problem well mostly no problem tracking me. Let's check and see what his settings are. Not the light rays. Thank you very much. Go away. Alright. Rich AI crab. So the max speed is 9. Acceleration is 75. Precise slowdown is on. Let's go for the crab or the clam. Slow when not facing target. No, I don't want that. Ah, uh, it's disabled right now anyway. Alright, let's go back into the world one level. And grab Mr. Krabby. So, slow when not facing target is dis disabled which should be correct. That is what I want to do. I want to disable that. I'm just not sure. Let's save it. Not sure if that's the issue. We'll see.
No, it's definitely seem to be the issue. It is certainly tracking me better now. Lick. Yeah, that animation is coming out way too late. Let's see. Our null reference. Air pocket. Jump methods. Movement FSM. Let's. Alright. Where is the clam? So we're looking for a null reference in the jump methods. You have the Playmaker FSM. It is set to an instance of the object. So what I'm thinking might be going on here would be um, script execution order. It's the only thing I'm thinking of, because this happens in a wake. Um, but so does the environment setting. So let's go see the environment settings. Environment settings. So set and unset air bucket happens also in... Okay, come on, where are you? Alright, so set air skybox. Um, so here, in start, set in water is setting air pocket. Mm, don't require receiver. Let's see. Set water skybox. Unplayable screen. Use your holder send message. Unset air pocket. Okay. So set and unset air pocket here. Okay, giant jump methods. I what's going on then? Crab. Where are my crab jump methods? There we are. Set air pocket. Movement FSM. Find FSM full. Air pocket. Set it to true or false. Maybe. Maybe the movement FSM does not have. That would be weird, but let's go see. Aha! I have no air pocket. Okay. Not that that should matter. Aha! Air pocket. Yes, okay, it's because I'm not using it yet. I accidentally removed it. Because I'm not using it. The script might... So it's one of those things I left in there because I might want to use it. Uh, so let's see, air pocket. Full add. I wish I could put a note, uh, a note on it there. So how long has this been going on? Uh, about 45 minutes. Let's see. I'm going to refresh my dashboard page and see if it wants to be more friendly. Let's see. It's misrepresenting my my viewer count. 
So what do we really need to deal with at the moment? Let me go in here and on setup, I'm going to set jumper. Jump probability, 100%. Ooh, interesting. Item eater is not set, yet it is eating items. Okay. Take note of that. Item eater not set, yet it eats items. And in the time it took me to write the uh, note for that, I realized why. Item closest, item closest is the target. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Really, it's because I'm not checking if it's an item eater. player is not null. If the closest item is null, uh, player not null, target. E, so, let's see, player is not null. I think what I need to do would be like an else if, not item dictionary, else if uh, item eater. I think the only the only reason it should be going after an item at all ever is if it is an item eater. So that should fix that. What else was I looking at then? I should be able to mark that off. Uh, mark this bug off. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep, can mark this one off. Okay, so I kind of got distracted. Ah, yes, on setup. I'm going to set it to a jumper, 100% probability, and then I'm going to save it. Because I want to test, I want to test it jumping and licking. No, not this one. This one. And then I think I'll get off for the day and go make some pie. Yep, well it jumped. The uh so it's jumping for sure. Missing behavior. Giant clam holder is it? so movement, wait for ground. Ah, yes, it would be missing a crab punch behavior. Because it shouldn't have one. Look loop forward. Jump attack forward. Disable ping. Deactivate AI. Okay. No. There's the crab punch. 
Ooh, so yes, it's checking the behavior. There's the issue. So it's using a specific script for start coroutine, and it should be the giant clam punch. There we are. Also here, giant clam. All right. Angry attack. Going to be the same thing. Giant clam punch. All right. So those should be the different coroutines we have. And that should all be good. We'll apply Go to the title scene, title screen, and now when it jumps, it should do a lick loop. Let's find out. Ah, it's not doing it. Why did not? Why did you not do it? What's null? Some bull. Giant clam punch. Movement after some. Uh, setup. Where's my punch? Movement after some. That should be set. So it's the bull here. Grabable does not exist. I'm sure. That's, that's gotta be what it's complaining about with that line. Is grabable. Hmm. Easy enough to fix. Let's see, take damage, movement. Uh, C, D, E, F, G, grabable. So this is where I get in, got into trouble by removing some booleans that I thought were not being used because there were no usages in the FSM, but they are being used by other things. It's not just it's just not being used in a state within the FSM. Put it that way. It is being used because it does get checked by multiple things. Okay. Now if there are no other null references... Ah, uh, jump! Ah, uh, it sort of... It sort of did. Yes. Nice. So the timing needs to be changed. Um, but yeah, it is doing it. Good. Ah. Smack. 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 Ah, it died. Okay. <laughs> it's like uh, nom nom. Okay, and that will be all for now, I believe. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.